What's up guys, this is Ryan. So, I am VP pushing on the leaderboard right now. I have seven boosted ice statues and I've gotten asked all the time, can you do a Hammerman video so I can see what it looks like to have seven boosted ice against it? And I never have because I never have any gold. I spend it all on troops and we have a troop mania right now. So I have gold and I can do it for you guys. So I'm going to switch to a base that is in the back. Let me save this layout first. All right. Let's load a base where a lot of the stuff is in the back. I'll move some things out of the way. Um, we have machine gun damage boost right now. So what I'm going to do is start with just the shock blaster. And when that fails, I'll move up to uh, rockets also. And when that fails, I'll move up to machine guns. And theoretically, that's all that we'll need. So let's get some stuff out of the way. Come on, tree. There we go. I'll put the HQ up here. Let's see you back. And move these boom cannons out of the way. Come on. All right, got the shock blaster up. If I can ever get these buildings to move, let's see how far we can get with this. So I've done this once before, and I needed about that much. I think it's really, really easy. You have so much health on this. Whoops, that mortar's in range. So much health on this shield. You can just sit here for freaking forever. And it looks like I do have a little bit of help from the sniper. There it goes. You can see it's taking the shock blaster so long, but they're, the troops are just doing zero to this HQ. I'll speed it up because this is taking forever. The first stages are always super easy. And I'm sure this will take longer than I want it to. So I'll have to fill some time talking. I'll move those buildings out of the way for you now. I'll try stage two. I might actually just drop the rockets to save us time because that's going to take a long, long time. Um, we have speed serum boost right now as well as GB. Holy crap, that's a lot of heavies. <laughs> That will still be okay, but that is quite a lot of heavies. Um, and my base has just been getting smashed. I think I've been raided 18 or 20 times today. It's so bad. I really need to... I just changed my layout to try to work on it, but we need this um, all troop mania boost to go away. We need... Well, the GBE boost will be around for two weeks, but... Um, once that goes away and speed serum goes away, we'll be back to normal, which will be fine. It looks like just that shock blaster was barely able to hang on. So I will go ahead and move the rockets up now. I'm going to move them a few tiles apart so shocks individually can't hit two of them. Um, when I used to do hammermans before, I liked to uh, cluster them together because they were it was a lot better against... Uh, Riflemen when I could clump them, but I don't need them clumped when I have such a crazy um, Health and damage boost already. I only use that before because it took so Or it might like damage was so low that a lot of times individual rockets wouldn't be able to out damage stuff that was being healed by medics, so This stage looks like it's very, very easy. These rockets have a ton of damage on them, and I put all three down at once. I'll check the stats for you now if you guys want to see that. Um, rockets are dealing whew, a little over 100% damage. What's the health? Like 150, 106, like something around there percent. So they shoot six shots at once. Um, that's a good, a good amount of damage. I... I'm not good enough at mental math to do that for you guys, but warriors on the beach on this stage, they will go down unbelievably quickly. Looks like they spread around enough to hit the shock blaster, and riflemen are going to be even worse. We can probably get really far with these rockets because the later stages of Hammerman are so focused on riflemen swarms. There, I've noticed like the higher stages really dislike using the grens and the tanks and stuff like that is interesting to me. I always, when I was upgrading, like it's just warriors and riflemen again. That's interesting. When I was upgrading through the game, I used to always like, it drove me crazy attacking hammerman because 
Dr. Chi, I'd get to like stage six. I'd attempt stage seven. I usually get it if I boosted. And even when I was beating it and I was like HQ 20 with all eight boats and everything, I just had no shot against Dr. or against Hammerman. I get a couple stages maybe. And it always drove me so nuts that I was beating every daily event and then just getting absolutely demolished by Hammerman. And they've helped that a lot with um, tribes and with the additional protos, stuff like that. The hot pot does a ton of work that wasn't around when I was upgrading. So it's gotten easier. I see people who regu regularly beat Hammerman now with no ice um, and frequently with no protos, but that was never, ever possible when I was upgrading and even when I was max, but they didn't have that kind of stuff there. So a lot of grands on this stage, they aren't able to take down any buildings before everything else is clear and the rockets finish them off. What stage are we on now? Are we on? We're on seven now. Let's see if we can beat seven with just a shock blaster and some rockets. I wasn't expecting to beat six like that, but we'll see. Um, so I had to start off with a ton of of power powder to make it this high in VP. Um, I think I started with 5,700, 5,800, somewhere between those. I still have about 3,000 left. Ooh, nice. All right, we're going to have to drop some machine guns. Um, but really, if you're planning a VP push, I would recommend not dropping ice until you're very, very more than ready because you won't last that long if you try to just deploy ice when you're still upgrading or without having any kind of stockpile to work with and I see people make that mistake a lot so I thought I would mention it all right machine guns have an additional I think 40 percent damage on top of my ice boost so we'll see how it goes they already got three of them down but they took those waves out much more quickly than past ones, so I think we'll be able to get this. One more wave, all the rockets are still up, that's good news for us. Those riflemen are chewing through that shield though. But stage seven goes down with just machine guns, rockets, a shock blaster, and some shields. Hope you guys enjoyed this example of what it looks like for me. I don't have the gold to do this a lot, but it's really, really simple when I can because I have such crazy boost on it. Let's see what the machine gun do. Whew, that's, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll catch you in future videos. Until then, my name's Ryan. This is the PSC Life. I'm going to switch back to my old layout before I close this game because <laughs> that would be unfortunate otherwise. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy booming.